Mazda CX-30 2023 Mazda CX-30 Overview The Mazda CX-30 is Mazda Philippines' newest crossover that aims to fortify its foothold in the popular SUV segment. On the exterior, it shares in the same Kodo design language that Mazda vehicles are known for. Its design is close to that of the CX-5s but with a shorter rear end. Moreover, the CX-30 has a taller ride height compared to the Mazda 3 it is based on, while adorned with blacked-out fender accents that further add to its crossover look. On the inside, the CX-30 shares the Mazda design language as the other models in the lineup. It features a sleek dashboard that extends to the door sidings. The instrument cluster features a three-circle design with a speedometer in the middle flanked by its rev counter on the left and its temperature and fuel gauges on the right. At the center of the dash is the location of the 8.8-inch non-touchscreen infotainment system, similar to what the Mazda 3 has. The controls can be found near the gear shifter. Mazda says this was done in order to let the driver focus more on the road. The Mazda CX-30 also comes with Mazda's iActiveSense suite of safety features that includes radar cruise control and driver monitoring system. It also comes with high beam control, front cross traffic alert, adaptive front lighting system, rear cross traffic alert, lane departure warning, and lane keep assist. Launch. The Mazda CX-30 was launched by Mazda Philippines on November 28, 2019, alongside the CX-83 Row midsize crossover. It debuted in both front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive playout, with the range toppers donning better overall amenities and features. Mazda launched a new variant of the CX-30 with a mild hybrid system at the 2022 Philippine International Motor Show PIMS. The new variant was launched alongside the hybrid Mazda 3, a platform mate of the CX-30 crossover. The hybrids featured more power and torque brought on by an electric motor. Platform, Chassis and Powertrain the CX-30 sits on the same platform as the Mazda 3 and is powered by the same 2.0 Skyactiv-G gasoline engine. As such, the compact crossover can produce 152 horsepower and 200 newton meters of torque, sending power to the wheels via a six-speed Skyactiv drive automatic transmission. The newest powertrain in the lineup for the Philippines is the 2.0-liter mild hybrid system, which produced 161 horsepower and 213 newton meters of torque, which is 9 horsepower and 13 newton meters more than the standard naturally aspired gasoline engine. The electric motor also has a battery system that it feeds off and charges either via the wheels or via the engine. According to Mazda's internal testing, the hybrid powertrain boasts a fuel consumption figure of about 17.52 km per liter or about 5.7 liters of fuel per 100 km. As per our testing, the gasoline-only variants got a combined figure of 6.2 L 100 km. The Mazda CX-30 has McPherson struts up front and multi-link suspension at the rear. All wheels are equipped with disc brakes, with the front having a ventilated disc type. Chassis. Class Compact Crossover. Body Style 5-Door SUV Platform Layout Front Engine All-Wheel Drive Front Engine Front Wheel Drive Platform N-A Powertrain Engine 2.0L Skyactiv GPE VP's I-4 Gasoline Power Output 153 Horsepower 200 Newton Meters of Torque Transmission 6-Speed Skyactiv Drive Automatic Technology Features The Mazda CX-30 gets a host of tech features that make it an intelligent, premium vehicle. The crossover comes with Mazda's iActiveSense which includes adaptive radar cruise control that's usable in traffic, as well as a driver monitoring system that detects if the driver's attention is still on the road. It also has smart brake support that acts as a pre-collision warning and mitigation using radars. Other tech toys found on the CX-30 include high beam control, front cross traffic alert, adaptive front lighting system, rear cross traffic alert, lane departure warning, and lane keep assist. As for the head unit, the CX-30 gets an 8.8-inch non-touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Mazda took out the touchscreen functionalities in its newer cars to remove driver distraction, exterior, 